So we have this playground and uh, children from three years old all the way up through eighth grade play here. The problem is uh, some of the equipment I had picked up, you can see this train here, uh, they can climb through it and around it. The trouble is when you look at how this is pieced together, they just cut angles and put these boards together, which is okay because the screws go in from one board into another but there's a lot of movement here and when you get bigger kids or a lot of kids playing on this and getting on top what ends up happening is you get this kind of thing and it breaks apart because it's not really designed to support a lot of weight up top i don't really think this is a good design uh, I, my idea was to put a metal ring in here which was a little difficult i've got to repair this because screws are sticking out uh, it just was not properly formed to support weight, in my opinion, and uh, not a good foundation. The only thing I can think to do is a temporary. I'm going to put this three-quarter plywood up there, and uh, I'm going to put it against against here, and then I'm going to cut it so it fits inside. I'm actually going to I'm going to cut out little pieces to go up in all these little slots, and. Uh, and paint it and then put it on the inside here and that will provide the proper support of course they won't be able to crawl all the way through they can go down the middle hatch and out the other side but i'm more worried about kids climbing on top and you can see it's starting to fall apart it becomes dangerous then and uh just didn't have the proper foundation if you want to call it foundation and you know first corinthians 3 11 paul said that other foundation can no man lay than that which is laid which is jesus christ and he was talking about people who are preaching the gospel and he said that we have to be careful how we build thereupon our works will be tried by fire whether they be gold or silver or hay or stubble uh, if any man's work does not abide it will burn up the builder will be saved but uh, narrowly uh, we're saved by the grace of God. We preach the grace of God. So if somebody's not preaching Jesus Christ and His grace, then it's not the, the right foundation and it's going to crumble. It's like a house built upon the sand. So anybody who's preaching should be preaching that it's all about Jesus, what Jesus did, the finished work on the cross. Salvation is by His grace alone. Just like this train could not sustain the weight of people getting on it, neither can a preaching that is not founded upon Jesus Christ and His grace alone. So let's watch how we talk to others. Let our speech always be seasoned with grace, salvation by Jesus alone.